Hello, this is Vermeulen. This is September, Friday the 13th. Let's take another look at my raised bed pepper garden. There we go. Let's look at the bee pollinating my flowers. Here are some plants here that I've got marked as seven pot chocolate. But if you look at the pot here, it looks to be some type of cross here. So maybe when the pod gets ripe, we can decide what type of pod this is. But and it, then if you look these are getting long and lanky because they're sort of shaded out by this fig tree here. Here we have the giant ghost pepper. The pods are not getting real large. But they look pretty nice. They look sort of they look pretty red like these that one hidden back there. The other one right over here. You can see the red back there behind the foliage. Well, let's just... This plant here was supposed to be some type of chocolate type plant, but when we look close at the ripe pod here, it looks more like a maybe a dateel or a ahi lemon. It's pretty spicy, about a little bit spicier than habanero. And here we have the peach ghost, still giving me some ripe pods, there and there and here. Here we have a plant that came from the same source as the ahi lemon, date whatever it is over there, but the pod is not the same. It's a different type of pod altogether. And here we have the, the T.S. Peach. We're getting color here, blushing on some of these. And we look close over here. We got full color. More blushing up here. Then over here, we've got more color and blushing. And we're, here we have a plant that I had marked as chocolate scorpion, but I don't know what it is. When it gets ripe, we'll see if it turns color brown. And we'll see what it is. Looks to be a pretty nice plant, though. It's pretty loaded with pods. Got pods hanging all over it. We have the plant. It's the cross of the Bujilokia Indian carbon, I believe. The pods are growing on, getting on pretty good. Got pods. Probably about 10 or so pods on this plant. Here we have the twin green strain red canopy. If we look, we'll see some ripe pods. And then we'll see some blushing pods. This thing's going to be loaded with ripe pods pretty soon. Here we have the Trinidad Scorpion original. Back in here, the three original pods that was growing, once ripe and ready to pick. A couple days ago we had this big downpour and it sort of laid my uh, Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea down a little bit. It's leaning over 
it's still staked up down here, so it's not falling over. But it's got ripe pods all in it. Got pods everywhere though. And let's look, we got a visitor right over here. Well, back in here we have the uh, purple ghost pepper. You'll see a few pods here that's got overlapped with the Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea, but there's quite a, there's quite a few ripe peach ghost peppers in there. Then down here we have the peach naga. It's just low level pods. I can't even stand this thing up. Got pods, we got bright pods here, purple pods here. And got pods everywhere. And here at the end we have the orange habanero. Give them some orange color right here. And down here. Ah, if I can get to it, a fully ripe. Ah, and there's just leaves everywhere. Fully ripe orange pod right there. Anyway, this is Furry Man, aka Habanero Fellow. This is my in ground, not in ground, but raised behead pepper garden. Tune in with me next week for an update. As I always say, let the heat be with you, and God bless. From my garden to you, it's so easy, a crippled man can do it.